A look at the latest numbers now released this afternoon by the Department of Public Health. There are now 12,500 total cases of coronavirus in Massachusetts. That's up 764 from yesterday. 15 new deaths have also been reported, which brings the total to 231 people killed by the virus in our state. It is worth pointing out that the increase in new cases dropped by 50%. But so too did the number of tests. WBZ's Jim Smith is live at the State House tonight with more on how the state is fighting coronavirus. Jim? David, the fight against this virus is, of course, a 24 hour a day job. And one of the big challenges is getting enough equipment to the front lines. Tonight, there's some progress to report. The governor had some good news Sunday. 100 ventilators delivered by the federal government, but still only 10% of the 1,000 the feds have promised. We actually got a shipment uh, last night, which was unpacked this morning of, of ventilators uh, from the national stockpile. Uh, there were 100 of them. We don't believe this is the last shipment. We fully expect that we'll get additional ventilators over the course of the next two weeks. Governor Baker also updated the state's timetable for the expected surge in cases. Our anticipated assumption here is that sometime around April 10th, we expect we're going to head into the, uh, the peak of the surge and that sometime around April 20th, um, we should reach the, the sort of top of the apex and then start coming down on the other side. But those numbers could be off by a few days. Meanwhile, in Boston, work continues on converting the convention and exhibition center into a huge field hospital, providing hundreds of beds. The mayor says city cases seem to be surging now. This is in the last 48 hours, we've had an increase of 511 new cases. That's 27% of our overall cases of coronavirus uh, since this began over the last 48 hours. That's what a surge looks like, and we are still at the beginning of the surge. And the mayor tonight says if that surge in city cases continues, the need for spaces like the convention center becomes all the more crucial. Live at the State House, Jim Smith, WBZ News.